Hi, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's, and today I'm making bunny pins. They're really not hard to make. Even a beginner crocheter can do it. If you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. What you'll need is some wiggle eyes. They have colored ones, but I've used the black ones too. Some small pom-poms, I believe that's a 3 millimeter size. Some small white pom-poms. Some safety pins that will fit the length of the bunny's body. Size E crochet hook. Some baby yarn or sport yarn. A pair of scissors some tacky glue, and a round toothpick. There's really only three stitches to this. One is a slip stitch, one is a chain stitch, and one is a double crochet. To do your first anchor stitch, you want to make a slip stitch. And all you do is pull it under, and pull it tight. Now you want to chain five. And that's just pull the yarn through one, two, three, four, five. Then you want to go back into the very first stitch that you did and you want to do another slip stitch, which is just pulling the yarn through both of the loops. Now you want to, that's your base and your center. Now you want to chain three. One, two, three. That's your first stitch. Now double crochet, you just yarn over one time, put it through the center, bring it up. Now you have three. You're going to pull that crochet hook through two, and then two again. Now you have two stitches, and you want to go on until you have a total of 15. So there's three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, and last one for the body, fifteen. Now in those first three chains that you did, go to the top with your crochet hook, put that through and yarn in and do a slip stitch. There the body's done. Now you're going to chain three, and that's your first stitch. You're going to chain four more in the same hole. Two, three, four, and five. And there's this little head. Now to make his ears, you want to chain three, or ten, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slip stitch back in that same space. Oops. Yeah, I've been crocheting since I was eight years old, and even I make mistakes. I think it's called being human. Okay, and that's one ear done.
and then you want to repeat it again. Chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you're going to slip stitch back in. A lot easier when you're not on camera. Okay, now you're going to pull that one through and you're going to cut. That's all you need for this. You're going to pull it through and that's going to knot it. And now you have two ears, a little head, and a body. Now turn it over and you're going to slip stitch through a few of the back ones. I usually end up doing about three. And we're going to pull this all the way through to knot it. And pull it tight. one and then clip off your extra okay now while you're on the back you want to take one of the safety pins And you're going to thread it through what you just slip stitched. And then close it. You want to do the pin first. That way you don't mess up the glue that you're going to be using on this side. Okay. A little glue on your toothpick. And we're going to dab some right here. And don't worry about making a mess. Aileen's Tacky Glue dries clear. And I've used this stuff for years. And I've never had a problem with it yellowing. Okay, we're going to start putting a little nose on. Squish it down into the glue. Put the little eye in and squish that down into. And then the pom pom, I usually find for the tail, usually find it easiest to just dip it in the glue. Put that down in there. And that's done. Set it aside and the glue dries in half hour tops. You can't see it after that. And you can make these in any color, any lightweight yarn. And this is a cute addition to an Easter basket or further Easter outfits. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and happy creating everyone.